everyone and welcome back to episode 4. We finished the Golden Claw quest last time and now I'm just taking a quick look around before heading out. It's a fine day with you around. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Wait, what? I well, that's a great start. <sighs> Here's hoping I don't need a cure disease potion again soon. Back to business, today I want to start a couple of romance companion mods, the first one being one of the largest and most popular, Skyrim Romance. Oi oi, look at this fine lass. Oh, she's a beauty who looks a bit parched. I think I may offer her to buy her a pint of brew. Lord, here we go. Not if I get to her before you do. You always go after the pretty women and leave the feast for the rest of us. I can't help but if women find me fascinating. Besides, you have plenty of women to choose from. The only thing I find fascinating is a fair maiden like her would be a waste for a man like you. <laughs> hey, she must be a witch then. Look at those eyes. They put some spell on me. I don't even know any magic yet, so that's unlikely. But these are just a few random NPCs that complement the dragonborn from this mod. Hey, baby. Oh. You want to lip wrestle with me, do you? I know you do. No, no, I definitely do not. A chance. I do. Uh, they're lovely. Why don't you sit on me lap tonight? Yeah, I'm just gonna go now. Okay, now to talk to Bishop, the mod's main character. So, you're someone who doesn't lip wrestle. Got it. Or you're just looking for someone to kiss your boots. If it's the latter, I'd suggest asking elsewhere. Just an FYI, there are no wrong answers in this interaction, so no matter which options you choose, you can still recruit him. We're gonna pick this one. Ah, I'd join you, but there's something I want to know before you get too wasted to tell the difference between me and this wall. So are you so used to those kind of comments that you turn up your nose at all of them like some damn noble? <laughs> as blunt as I remember. We're gonna go the joking route for this character to try and even out the broodiness, I think. What? Princess? <laughs> Those two only wish they could work up the courage to whistle at me. I'll be fine. They've been harassing every pair of legs that's crossed their path for days. Yesterday they got so drunk they even wolf whistled the blacksmith. I would have liked to see that. You're the first they've been right to admire, though. Anyway, just give them a wide berth. Maybe I'm here to stop noble ladies for drinks before they go in there and have the dullest night of their lives with these closed-minded villagers. I was tracking my wolf, Karnwu, around here. We were separated while hunting a week ago. I've been hearing rumors of bandits holding pit fights somewhere this side of Skyrim. He's all I've got, and that's the only lead. So I'm off to shut them down before something happens to him. For my fanfic storytelling purposes, we're gonna act like my character knows everything about the world already, but is hiding that from everyone. For now. Enthusiasm like that could get a pretty girl like you in trouble. Who's to say I'm not? Uh, I guess if they're running a ring, there's probably gonna be more than just a few bandits. If you wanna come, I wouldn't complain about my odds. I could certainly do worse for company. Sure, why not? Really? You love helping a stranger you just walked up to? <laughs> Who am I to complain? Ah, I need to make something clear before we set off. I don't trust anyone. Not even the man pouring my drink. The only two things I trust anymore are myself and my wolf. Got it? Loud and clear, princess. Loud and clear. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I have no doubts about that. I'm only concerned about how long it'll take. He would have already done the same for me by now. Before you jump to any stupid assumptions or try to get him to lick your hand, Conwood is not a pet. That wolf and I have been together since I was 17. He's closer to me than... than a brother. Got that? Again, got it. 
Private matters that you have no business knowing. Let's get a move on. Every minute we waste here, Conrad is being held against his will. And probably worse. And that's it. Now we've got Bishop added to our party. To many new adventures ahead. Now, food. Oh, they have apple pie. They have sweet rolls too? Okay, I may have gone a little carried away with the food, but I promise I'm trying to focus again. So, we'll ask the bishop some more questions. What do you want to ask? Hmm, which to choose? When did you get Karnware? I got my wolf Karnware when I was just a boy. We survived together, we hunted together. Someday we'll die together. And that suits me just fine. So melodramatic. What do you want to ask? He's always like that. So if dramatic broody guys aren't your thing, he's probably not for you. But he does have his good side. This one next. You know, I once took a hunting trip to Morrowind. Cliff racers made for excellent sport. You can always tell when one was coming by the racket it made. Good to what do you want to ask? Oh, you talk and you lie and you okay, drink what on me. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. I guess this one. It was necessary to learn how to survive in this damned world. Either survive or die. It's life, sweetness. And I had to learn the hard way. Not exactly. I was born to a family of hunters who was often taken out for practice. The Reach taught me to always check my footing twice, and the cold northern regions hardened me enough to withstand the bitterness of the wind. I was hunting giants from the age of ten. You know, for sport. I had fun with my bow. We traveled a lot, too, from place to place. Pretty nomadic. I watched and learned. One night, just decided to take everything I had, which wasn't much, and struck out on my own. Nice. <laughs> Listen now, sweetie, there's nothing nice in this world. The only nice things I can think of are a mug of ale in my hand and a warm fire. <laughs> What's with that response, ladyship? Sabercat got your tongue? You want to maybe share about your life story, since you were curious enough to ask about mine? We're gonna be as vague as possible here, whenever it comes to her past. So... This, I think, is gonna be That's all? Long story short, I'm sure there's more than that. Well, I don't care. I don't know what kind of life I might have had if I'd chosen differently. I'm not sure proud is the right word. But you've been helpful to me. Now it's time for me to give you a good turn. Uh, oh god, both of these fit. You can go the joking route or the actual serious route, but we'll go joking. Dream on, sweetheart. Though I must say, I like your enthusiasm. Now, before I get the wrong idea, better get back to what I was doing. What was I doing? Good question, Bishop. Good question. Okay, what else to do? As you can see, there's lots of options, but let's finish our questions. What do you want to ask? Hmm. Don't trust anyone. Life's easier that way. I wouldn't waste your time on any of these worthless gods. <laughs> Great topic for my fanfic. We're <laughs> going all silent here. You don't look like a mighty dragon slayer to me right now. More like a little girl who met a big bad wolf. He dramatically turns and runs away. Okay. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. What do you want to ask? Death, we will drink and we'll, we'll hold off on this question for now. 
children of Skyrim and we fight hmm. all feeling naughty are we okay we'll flirt with him just a little bit so you guys can see what the options and experience is like they typically involve silent scripts like this. It's a nice added bonus feature if you choose to pursue a romance with him. And it gives the relationship some more dialogue lines and life. So, yeah, this is, this is Bishop. All right, we've done enough small talk for tonight. <laughs> Ow, so does she owns the place. Boy. She does what she Let's wants. You last time to be more Inn's closed. Bar's still open. Feel free to sit and put your head down on the table for as long as you like. I won't bother you. Great. Guess we're camping out tonight, which wasn't expected, but at least it's already set up for us. Okay. Bishop, what do I want to do with you? We're going to make you guard to make sure we're not attacked while we sleep. What are you disturbed by? meeting me <laughs> all right what else as you can see there's lots of other options here we'll explore them at some point but there are a specific set of actions you can do um, that are perfect for when you're just hanging around camp like this and that this is where it is so as you can see there's lots of different options for being around the campfire going to sleep you name it but we're going to go ahead and just go with this one for now. Oh, you're, you're facing the wrong way, buddy. <laughs> My character may be hot, but she's not the fire. <laughs> okay, I think I'm all chatted out for the day, so we're going to get some rest, then head to Whiterun in the morning. So we'll give her full night's rest to make up for the other night, and off we go. Perfect, so we weren't attacked, we're all rested, and on our way. Heading out bright and early, when it's still dark out, kind of. We'll see if we run into any problems on the road. It's looking like it's actually just going to be a really pretty day. Hi, issues. Here's hoping I don't jinx myself. Wait, what? Why are you get? Oh no. No, this is part of EBG conditionals for when it's raining, but I'm not seeing any rain. Wait, I just saw a raindrop. No. No! It's a pretty day! It's totally pouring now. Adrienne a few gifts to make up for the cheated farmer we got earlier. There's a few great gift giving mods out there already. I personally use sex on dialogues because it works well with my other <laughs> uh, degenerate mods. But uh, it's super simple and it adds some more role-playing aspects of the game. You can also compliment people, insult them. All you have to do is talk to them and select the more dialogues option. We've already given her one sword, so we're going to give her one more and then Delphine's My employers are anxious so to that's where she was. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest. So I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, I let me show you something else I found. Had to fight. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Nope. Not fighting a dragon today. Nope. 
come to chat with an old woman. Mm -hmm. No, we're just running from responsibility because it's either that or stare down a fire-breathing lizard. We need to get stronger before that, with more allies. You there, uh, citizen. This area is off limits. You're interfering with Imperial business. Yeah, so you'll have to pay us a fine. Say, a hundred gold. Pay up, citizen. You're not getting my gold. Why is there not a persuade option? Oh, gosh. Fine. If you can't pay with coin, You'll pay with your life. Crap. This is not what I had in mind for today. Oh my god. No, no, I'm out in a vision. Where are you? Oh my god. Being hit by a baby that I have a sword with you. Freaking oh my gosh. I, I need help. Oh my god. Deserve nothing but my blade in their throat. Tell them how you really feel, Bishop. Uh, you know, oh, it worked. Now that I think of it, that sounds fair. Just shove off before the others notice. That seems almost too easy. Get on your way before I change my mind. The second part. <laughs> runs right past me. Okay. Hello? Wait, no, you can't block with your shield. That's not fair. to upgrade to a new bow and get some other cool items and gold. Should I take this? Eh, I'll just have our next companion carry it for me. We've just got a little bit further till we find him. It's pretty up here. It's nice. Oh, looks like Bishop's coming to join us. Nothing to say, huh? Well then. Yeah. Something on your mind? <sighs> Lastly, to loot the boss. Great shots, Bishop. Where were they earlier when I was getting attacked by that orc and mage? Okay, so we're all cleaned up now. Washed all the blood off here in the stream. Now to get back on the road. Well, if there's more bandits around, I could go for some target practice. Oh really? 
Speaking of which... Hmm, <laughs> feeling naughty, are we? Ha! Did I just hear a frog croak? Oh no, it was just you. Well, that still makes you a frog. I never miss my mark. I don't want to directly affect him or do nothing. So we're just going to try to help make him a bit more humble with some harmless distraction. Yeah, I'm meant to do that. sure we have no more diseases before we head out. <laughs> How do I reach the guy in the book? There he is. Lucky Lorenz. Doesn't seem too lucky now. Ooh, a treasure map. I think I know where this is. We'll find it. I'm pretty sure it's on the way. I think. All this effort just to get this book. This is the last thing you were reading. What a way to go out. <laughs> I'm gonna hop skip across. See if I don't fall in. Okay. Success there. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no. <laughs> okay. That was almost bad. Alright, we finally reached the abandoned prison where we're picking up our next BC Romance School companion. Now it's time for us to go play superhero and rescue him. Yep, this place definitely looks like it's abandoned and flooding. I'm gonna sneak down here. Oh. always sells really well, but realistically, having my character carry it with everything else? I'll just have our new companions carry it. I just want to grab and sell everything. We're way too poor right now for comfort. What does this say? We can't let the prisoners out, so either kill them or let them drown. Wow. Okay, this guy sounds lovely to be around. Okay, we're almost there now. What's this? Storm is coming, I can tell. The water leaking in has become stronger. There's no better time than now. When the storm hits, the guards will be scrambling to figure out what to do with us. If it's a confusion, we need to overpower the few that will be standing guard outside our cells and hold off the cell block entrance. We need only hold off until I can get one of their swords and break open the drainage gate in the corner of my cell. That's where we'll make our escape. Everyone move down river and we'll try to find shelter there until the storm passes. Sounds like that one will. Take this, this, and this. Now to finally speak to our new companion. Man, they really roughed him up. And he's literally sharing jail cells with a 
ghost and skeletons. It's probably not insane. Come on, come on, look at me. Look at me. There we go. When I get out of here, I'll kill you all myself. Don't worry, Kaiden. We're on your side. We're here to help you out. What? Who are you? You're not with the Thalmer, are you? Quick, get me free from here before more come. Careful, Princess. Our footsteps will echo in every chamber and tunnel. So stop stomping around like a swamp boar. I'm not even walking, Bishop. Kaiden. My name is Kaiden. Why are you in here, Kaiden? The Thalmor invited me to high tea. What do you think? Such sad. <sighs> I don't know. Some Justicars ambushed me outside of Falkreath. So remember that our character is supposed to already know all this, so we're not going to push him for more information. Ah, you're a lifesaver. Okay, now we have to heal his wounds. Oh. Oh my gosh, why are you so tall? Like, he is so tall. Okay. Uh, I found a healing. Ugh, a bottled miracle, this stuff. Thank you. Oh. So sometimes this combo bugs a little bit. Uh, just give it a moment to think. There we go. Wait. There's one more thing. Wait. There's one more thing. One of the Thalma got his hands on my sword. I know I've got no right to ask, but I could use your help in getting it back. Of course, but let's play dumb and be real with our response. This isn't me being sentimental. They kept asking about it. If it's important to them, they shouldn't have it. Agreed, but where did he go, though? Headed deeper into the prison. And with luck, he's cornered like a rat. Okay, let's hope so. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and grab these here. We'll see the ghost later. Let's give you some armor. Okay, we're gonna give him this sword, and this bow, and like half of our arrows. Yeah, we don't need that much. Yet. Before we go up there, I'm gonna see what poisons I have that I can douse my arrows with, since if he's a Thalmor mage, fighting them in such close quarters with companions can be a pain. Let's go with the paralysis. The longer we can keep him from moving or casting, the better. Especially if he knows any electric spells. since they're expensive. Do I want to take the boots and gloves, though? I normally do if I'm playing an elf, if I ever want to be in disguise, but as a Nord, that won't work as well, so... No, I'll leave those this time and just take back Kaiden's sword. Oh, hello. You're standing very close. Let's get you your cool-looking armor back. chest, I don't know. Let's save really quick. As you can see, he's very muscular. Son of a bitch had it coming. I bet. I can't thank you enough. I know you didn't have to help me. Nope, but... The question on everyone's mind, even mine. The sword belonged to my mother. I never knew her. 
but it's my only real clue to finding out who she was. Listen, I owe you my life, and I'm not a man who's comfortable being in debt. If you ever have need of me, I'd be glad to fight alongside you till that debt is repaid. Perfect. I'd be glad to have you travel with me. I am your sword and shield. Yes? And with that, we finish the first quest of the Kaiden 2 mod. As I mentioned before, Kaiden's a romanceable companion mod, but you don't have to romance him if you don't want to. He could just be sure a friend. Thing. I highly recommend him to anyone who's interested in having a stronger companion along. He's got tons of great dialogue, his own storyline that uniquely ties you to him, he's quest aware, and he has some great banter with other popular CC characters. So. It's pretty fun to be around. But that's it for today. We'll go over some of both his and Bishop's other unique features the next time and maybe pick up another companion along the way. Alright, 